Amen, amen, amen. Glory to God. You're listening to LUTG Radio's WKKP Digital Broadcasting. My name is Kathy Brox, and this is Devotionals. So today we're going to read um, from uh, the Bible Gateway app, and we're going to read from uh, the book of Chronicles, 1 Chronicles, First Chronicles um, 26 through 29, and Psalms 127. All right. And so this is just to help us uh, get nourishment. Amen. This is our daily food of the word of God. All right. So here we go. First Chronicles. So go ahead and pull that up. First Chronicles 26, 29. But first, we just want to thank God for uh, allowing us to get up this morning to and to read his devotions. Thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity and this time with you, Lord God. Father, for you are worthy of all the glory, the honor, the power, and the praise. And I say that in every prayer because you are, Father. I don't ever want to forget that. And I thank you, Lord God, for giving me a desire for your word, to read your word, to get the food that we need every day, Father. I thank you, Lord God, giving me the inspiration to share my devotionals with the listeners. I thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father, for you are worthy. Thank you, Lord God, for your word. In Jesus' name, I thank you, Lord God, that you open up your word to us, that we may gain understanding so that we can apply it to our daily lives. I thank you, Lord God, that your word is a continuous blessing to our spirit and to our soul, Lord God. I thank you, Father, and I pray that I pray that right in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we're going to go ahead and kick it off. I hope you can hear me. My horse this morning. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, glory to God. So here we go. Oh, you know what? I don't receive sickness. I rebuke this in the name of Jesus and receive healing to my throat. I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. First Chronicles chapter 26, it goes concerning the divisions of the porters of the Korthites, of the Korhites, was Mes was Meshel, Meshelmiah, I apologize for the names, was Meshelmiah the son of Kor, of the sons of Asaph, and the sons of Meshelmiah were Zechariah the firstborn, Jadiel the second, Zebadiah the third, Jethaniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehonan the sixth, Elional the seventh. Moreover, the sons of Obadidam were Shema, Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehoza, Jehozabad the second, Joah the third, Caesar the fourth, Say say Car the fourth and Nathaniel the fifth, Amenial the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Pultai Pul- Pul- the eighth, for God blessed him. Also unto Shemaiah his son were sons born that ruled throughout the house of their father. For they were mighty men of valor. The sons of Shemaiah, Othni, and Raphael, Obed, Elizabeth, whose brethren were strong men, Elihu, and Samacha, Samacha. All these are the sons of Obedidim. They were the sons, I'm sorry, they and their sons and their brethren, able men for strength, for the service, were three, were three score and two of Obedida. And I apologize for not being able to pronounce these names correctly. And Meshelamiah, had sons and brethren, strong men, 18. 
also Hosa of the children of Merari had sons, Simri the chief. For though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him the chief. Though he was, I'm sorry, made him the chief. And Helkiah the second, Teb Tebaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth, all the sons and brethren of Hosea, of, Ho of Hosea were thirteen. Among these were the divisions of the porters, even among the chief men, having words, I'm sorry, having wards one against another, to minister in the house of the Lord. And they cast lots, as well as the small as the great, according to the house of their fathers, for every gate. And the lot eastward fell to Shemaiah. Then for Zechariah his son, a wise counselor, that cast lots, and his lot came out northward. To to Obedib Obedibum Obedidum southward, and to his sons the house of Asupim Asupim to Shepim and Hosa, the lot came forth westward with the gate Shalacheth by the causeway of the going up, of the going up, ward against ward. Eastward were six Levites, northward for a day, northward the number four a day southward for a day and toward Asapim two and two at Parbar westward four at the causeway and two at the Parbar these are the divisions of the porters among the sons of Kor and among the sons of Merari and of the Levites, Aja was over the treasures of the house of God and over the treasures of the dedicated things. As concerning the sons of Ladam, the sons of the Gershonite, Ladan, chief fathers, even of the of Ladan, the Gershonite were Ja. Jehiel, Jehili, Jehili. The sons of Jehili were Zetham and Joel, his brother, which were over the treasures of the house of the Lord. Of the Amorites and the Iz, Izerites, the Hebronites and the Uzelites, and Shab Shabul, the son of Gershom, the son of Moses, was ruler of the treasures. And his brethren by Eleazar, Rahabath, or Rahabiah, Rahabiah, I apologize, his son, and Jeshiah, his son, and Joram, his son, and Zechri, his son, and Shekameth his son. Wow. Which Shalometh his brethren were over the treasures of the dedicated things. Which David the king and the chief fathers, the captains over thousands and hundreds. And the captains of the host had dedicated. Out of the spoils won in battles did they dedicate to maintain the house of the Lord. And all that Samuel the seer and Saul the son of Kish and Abner the son of Ner and Joab the son of Zerulah had dedicated and, what, and whosoever had dedicated anything it was under the hand 
of Shilomo, Shilomith and his brethren of the Israel Israelites, I'm sorry, of the Israelites, Chenaniah and his son were of the outward business over Israel for officers and judges and of the Hebronites, Hashbiath and his brethren, men of valor. A thousand and seven hundred were officers among them of Israel on this side, Jordan westward and all the business of the Lord and in the service of the king among the Hebronites. Pardon me. Among the Hebronites were Jared, Jared, the chief of. Even among the Hebronites, according to the generations of the fathers. In the 40th year of the reign of David, they were sought for and they were found among the mighty men of valor at Jazer of Gilead. And his brethren, men of valor, were 2,000 and 700 chief fathers whom King David made rulers over the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half of the Manasseh, Manasseh for every uh, matter pertaining to God and affairs of the king. Chapter 27. Now the children of Israel Pardon me, praise the Lord. Oh, that is up. Now and now the children of Israel, after their number, to wit the chief fathers and captains of thousands and hundreds, and their officers that served the king in any manner of the courses which came in and went out month by month throughout the months of the year of every course were twenty and four thousand over the first course of the first month was Jehoshabim the son of Zeb Zebdale and his course were twenty and four thousand of the children of Perez and was the chief of the captains of the host for the first month. And over the course of the second month was Dode and Ahohite. And of his course was Milk, was Mick, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> was Mick Loth, also the ruler. In his course, likewise, were the twenty and four thousand. The third captain of the host of the third for the third month was Ber, how do you say that? Ben, Benaya, Benaya. I guess it's like okay, never mind. Benaya, the son of Jeholada a chief priest and in his course were twenty and four thousand praise the lord give me a moment i need some water all right that was um starting back off with verse six from chapter 27 for the first chronicles All right, so it goes this is, this is that Benaiah who was twin who was mighty among who was mighty among the third all oh, praise the Lord amen so my computer tends to mess up here these little circles get on this computer and starts moving everything around the blood of Jesus this is that Benaiah 
who is mighty among the 30 and above the 30 and in the and in and in his course was a mes bad his son the fourth captain for the fourth month was Asahi, Asahi, the brother of Joab, and Zebediah, his son after him, and all his course were twenty and four thousand. The fifth captain for the fifth month was, oh man, what is that? Shamhuth, the Israelite, and his course were twenty and four thousand. The sixth captain, praise the Lord. The sixth captain for the sixth month was Ira, the son of Iklesh, the Tikoit. And he and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The seventh captain for the seventh month was Helez, the Palonite of the children of Ephraim, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The eighth captain for the eighth month was Sib- Sibike, the Hushhothite of the Zarhites, of the Zarhites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The ninth captain of the ninth month were Abizer, the Anathothite of the Benjamites, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. And the tenth captain for the tenth month was Mahare, the Nepho, the the Nethophathite of the Zar Heights, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The eleventh captain for the eleventh month was Ben Benaniah, the Pyrathonite of the children of Ephraim, and in his course were twenty and four thousand. The twelfth captain for the twelfth month was Heldai. The Neto One moment. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Wow. Okay. The blood of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. <clears throat> the blood of Jesus. I apologize, y'all. Like it gives us a break from all the the names, right? Amen. Glory to God. So, and this is interesting. All right. Um. So, I gotta pull this back up because this thing erased it. Erased what I was reading. Praise the Lord. And so I do apologize for the letters, uh, for the letters, for the names that I was reading, um, and that I was reading them, not maybe as fluently as we would want to hear them. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so I'll, I'm just trying to get back to where I was before. Okay, so I'm going to just start with verse 19 because I lost my place. Um, no, wait, was it? Okay, verse 19. Of Zebulun, Ishmael, the son of Obadiah, of Naphtali, Jeremoth, the son of Azrael, of the children of Ephraim, Hoshea, the son of Azaziah, of the tribe of Manasseh, Joel, the son of Pedadiah, 
of the tribe of Manasseh in Gilead, Edo, the son of Zechariah of Benjamin, Jaciel, the son of Abner, of Dan, Azrael, the son of Jeroham. These were the princes of the tribes of Israel. But David took not the number of them from 20 years old and under because the Lord had said he would increase Israel like to the stars of, of the heavens. Joab, the son of Zeruah, began to number, but he finished not because there fell wrath for it against Israel. Neither was the number put in the account of the chronicles of King David. And over the king's treasures was Asmaveth, the son of Adiel, and over the storehouses of the fields in the cities and in the villages and in the castles was Jehonatham, the son of Uzziah. And over them that did the work of the field for tillage of the ground was Ezri, the son of Chelob. Chelob. And over the vineyards was Shemai the Ramathite. Over the increase of the vineyards for the wine cellars was Zabdi the Ship, Ship, Shipmite. And over the olive trees and the sycamore trees that were in the low plains was Baal Hanam the Gannarite, and over the cellars of oil was Joash, and over the herds that fed in Sharon was Shitre the Sharonite, and over the herds that were in the valleys was Shaphat, Shaphat the son of Adle, over the camels also was Obil, the Ishmaelite, and over the asses was Jediah, the Meronothite, and over the flocks was Jaziz, the Hagarite. All these were the rulers of the substance, which was King David's. Also, Jonathan, David's uncle, was a counselor a wise man and a scribe and Jehiel the son of Hakmoni was a king's sons and Ahithophel was the king's counselor and Hushai the archite was the king's companion and after Ahithophel was Jehodi the son of Benaniah and Abiathar and the general of the king's armies was Joab. Okay, um, so the next one is actually Psalms 127. And I got to bring that up real quick. Uh, Psalms, 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 Psalms. One second, the book of Psalms. All right, so the cool thing about the Bible Gateway is it has a pull down uh, a list of the books of the Bible. And so you can just click on them and then go. And it, if you go down a little bit further, it gives you the book number. And so you can just go. So it's on the book 27 for the book of Psalms. And I'm actually on the website for BibleGateway.com. And so Psalms 27 said, oh, let me drink my water. Glory to God. Psalms 27. And again, I'm reading from the King James Version because it's free. Psalms 27 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war shall rise against me, in this will I be confident. 
One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire of his temple. For, of the, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When thou sayest, Seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not. Neither forsake me, O God, for of my salvation. When my father and my mother forsake me, when the, when the Lord will take me up. Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead me in a plain path because of mine enemies. Deliver me not over unto the will of mine enemies, for false witnesses are risen up against me. And such as breathe out cruelty, I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, uh, glory to God. That was uh, the devotions. Amen. I want to give you an opportunity for salvation. Um, I don't want to close out the devotions without you having an opportunity to say yes to the Lord. Glory to God. You know, um, in the book of uh, John, and it's uh, chapter uh, 3, verse 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, but you want to, you believe that you need to. Amen. Repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I give up my past life with Satan and close every door to all Satan's devices. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me. And from this day forward, I'm sorry, thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you, Lord Jesus. I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name, Lord Jesus. I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place. And from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet, 
with everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this to the Father in the name of Jesus. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. With evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God, Elohim. Amen. And amen. Amen. Congratulations. You just got saved. Amen. Give God some praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lamb of God. Salvation is unto the Lord. And the lamb that sits upon the throne, thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the Father and the Son sit upon the throne. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Lord, for thou art worthy. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give God some praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Therefore, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Oh, I apologize. Praise the Lord. I, I got to get better at this. Um, Glory to God. I'm not even sure which one it is. Let me see here. Um, I think it's glory to God. Hallelujah. Before I read Second Corinthians 17, I should have read to you. Uh, and what I was saying in Revelation chapter 7, verse 10, it says, And cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And then the next part is the angels portion. And stood all the angels round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. But the part I should have read to you was verse 10 and say and cry with a loud voice. That's us. So in verse 9, it says, After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man can number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and psalms and, and, and palms in their hands, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And so... I heard, and I believe this was the Lord saying, read that first. And instead, I read 2 Corinthians 5, 17. So I apologize to you, and I apologize to the Lord. I should have did what I heard. Amen. Sometimes you hear something, and you're not quite sure. Well, I heard something, and I wasn't entirely sure. Um, Just because of there are many things around me, and sometimes... You know, because I I was more focused on the salvation of the soul, but salvation is unto the Lord and it's from God. So how dare I put anything before the Lord, including this broadcast or man? Salvation is unto the Lord. Amen. So again, I apologize. Glory to God. Jesus loves you, beloved, 100 percent. Amen. I thank you for hanging out with me. Amen. Hallelujah. This is my name again. My name is Kathy Brox. This is the LUTG Radio Devotionals. Amen. With Jesus Christ. This is so devotionals with Jesus Christ. Amen. And again, so this is on LUTG Radio, WKKP Digital Broadcasting. Thank you, Lord God, for this time of devotionals with you. Lord God, for you alone are worthy of all the glory, the honor, the power, and the praise. I thank you, Lord. All glory be unto your name, Father. Amen and amen and amen. Okay, and so here's why um, I do have trouble with this. And I'll, I'll explain this to you. The word of God says, My sheep know my voice, and another 
they will not follow. And so I'm hearing an actual human being speak to me by the spirit. And so when that happens, I have a tendency to ignore it. And the reason why I ignore it is oftentimes you hear a thing like that. And it, it could be the enemy or it could be someone trying to misguide you. And so what the enemy will do is he'll give you some truth. He'll give you some half truth and then he'll give you something that is not true. But because you continue to obey it, you think that it is from God and that it is true. And you walk yourself or you educate yourself into hell. And so you don't want to do that. And so you have three voices in your head. You have yours. You have the you have the Lord's and then you have the devil's. And so that's what's in your soul, what's in your head. And so you got to rem and remember, I told you, your mind is like a basket holding the emotions, the will, imagination and conscience. And so you got to be careful what you listen to. Amen. You got to be careful what you listen to. And don't be don't get it. Don't get impressed by tingly feelings in the body. Don't get impressed by tingly feelings in the body. You want to keep your eyes focused on Jesus. If you have never seen Jesus before, that's okay. Look into your eyes and there he is. Read, read the word of God and there he is. The word is on the inside you, inside of you. Give him praise and honor and worship him. And there he is in the midst of your praise. Amen. Jesus loves you 100%. The Lord loves you 100%. And he would have it no other way than for you to be blessed and to know who he is. If ever you are in doubt whether or not Jesus is talking to you or whether or not one of his angels from upon high. Because each person is assigned a heavenly host and heavenly angel. Or whether or not it's the Holy Spirit. Call on the name of Jesus. And say Jesus is that you? Is that yours? That you sent to me. To give me wisdom. To instruct me. Holy Spirit is that you? Now the Holy Spirit don't even answer our questions. He don't take requests. But the Father will give him utterance for us. Amen. Glory to God. The Holy Spirit does not answer to us, but he does lead us in the way to go. The Father will answer any questions that we have. The Holy Spirit will speak to us, but he does not obey us. He leads us and guides us. That is the mind of Christ, which is why he does not allow us to lead him. He leads us. Amen. The grace and the mercy of the Lord. So. We've given you an opportunity for salvation. I thank you again for this devotions. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for being with me in these devotionals. And even as we uh, as we grow in faith in Christ Jesus with these devotionals, also remember to exercise a little bit, exercise your physical body a little bit. Even if it's whatever exercise is good for you, if it's walking or if it's doing jump rope, if it's, you know, when you do jump rope, try and do it like on dirt, on soft dirt so that, you know, they're so that you don't hurt your knees or anything. Or go get a professional to help you or inquire of your doctor to give you exercises or stretches. Um, and so what I do is I try and do push ups off the wall or, of course, I stretch my whole body and I just try and do things that make me feel good and also, um, you know, so I just do a variety of different things trying to keep my working to keep myself healthy and the other thing i do is i invite jesus in with me to do my exercises i invite him to do my exercise just like we invite jesus for the devotionals um and for prayer and for our daily living I invite the lord into your exercise routine and ask him to assist and help you to with your exercise routine and if you want to lose weight or build muscle god is right there with you and he's like okay i'm with you so invite him in amen and so my goal is to lose belly weight and lose weight all over my body lose this belly weight and build up muscle amen so not just belly weight i should say lose the fat all over my body because i wanted to be balanced and to build muscle all over my whole body and so i believe that i'll achieve that amen glory to god 
Thank you so much, and I'll see you later. Again, Kathy Brox, LUTG Radio, WKKP, Digital Broadcasting, and this is the Devotionals with Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God.